So today we'll uh, do questions related to topic momentum and impulse. So in this question, figure 1.1 shows uh, uh, I, an ice hockey player. The mass of the disc is 0 0.16. So that's a mass for this disc which is equals to 0 0.16 kilogram and it is moving horizontally across the surface of the ice with a speed of 15 meter per second so that's the speed is given because it is moving in a straight line so in that case the speed and velocity will have the same values calculate the magnitude of the momentum so how to calculate the magnitude or the value of the momentum we have the formula that momentum you can represent momentum by P is equals to M into V, where M is a mass, M is a mass which is 0 0.16 and V is the speed or the velocity at which this disk is moving on the surface, that is 15, so 0 0.16 multiplied by 15, what we get, we will get as 2.4 and the unit of the momentum is kilogram meter per second. Is it clear discussion? The magnitude of the momentum or the value of the momentum as the momentum is a product of mass and velocity. In the question, we have to calculate the momentum. And what is the formula of the momentum? As we discussed yesterday, the momentum is a product of mass multiplied by velocity. The mass of the object is given 0 0.16 and the velocity is given 15. So it will be 0 0.16 times 15. What we get, we'll get as 2.4 kilogram meter per second. Another question. Figure 2.1 shows a hammer being used to drive a nail into a piece of the board. The mass of the hammer head is 0 0.15, so this mass of this head is 0 0.15 kg. The speed of the hammer head when it hits the nail, so the moment, the speed at which it is hitting the nail the hammer was the head of the hammer was moving with a speed of 8 meter per second the time for which the hammer head is in contact with the nail that's a time interval which is a very short time interval 0 0.0015 second the hammer head stop after hitting the nail so if it is stop after hitting the nail it means the final speed of the hammer head will be zero Calculate the change in momentum of hammer head. How to calculate the change in momentum so, or impulse? So the change in momentum is the final momentum minus the initial momentum. So first, the hammer was moving with the speed of 8 meter per second. And the mass of the hammer head is 0 0.15. When it hits the nail, it stops. So what is the final speed of the hammer head? The final speed is 0. The mass does not change, but the final speed will be 0. So what is the initial momentum, starting momentum? So before it hit the initial momentum, which is mass multiplied by velocity, so it will be 0 0.15 multiplied by 8. So 0 0.15 multiplied by 8. What's the answer for initial momentum? That's equal to 1.2. So 0 0.15, the mass multiplied by the speed, 
will get as 1.2 that's the initial momentum or starting momentum but when it hits the nail it stops so when something stops so what will be the final momentum the mass is 0 0.15 but, but it stops so if something stops the final speed will be zero and anything which is multiplied by zero so the final momentum will be zero kilogram meter per second and if we calculate the change in momentum which is the final minus initial so what is the final momentum that is zero minus the initial momentum is 1.2 so what is the change in the momentum initial momentum is not eight abdullah initial momentum is eight multiplied by initial speed is eight but not the momentum momentum is the product of mass into velocity so initial speed is eight but initial momentum is eight multiplied by 0 0.15 so initial momentum is 1.2 kilogram meter per second and the final momentum final speed is zero and the final momentum mass multiplied by velocity so final momentum is also zero so when we calculate the change in momentum the final is zero and initial is 1.2 so the change in momentum will come out as negative 1.2 it can be kilogram meter per second or you can write as newton per a uh, newton second is it clear the first part that how we calculated the change in the momentum Then the second part, we have to calculate the impulse. Basically, impulse of the nail, when objects are hitting, their impulse is same. So what is the change in momentum? That is same as the impulse. So impulse of the hammer head will be same as the impulse of the nail or change in momentum of the hammer head will be same as change in momentum of the nail. So if this value is 1.2, so what will be the impulse impulse will also be 1.2 kilogram meter per second because whenever two objects hit each other collide with each other they have the same change in the momentum or they have the same impulse as in this example the hammer head is colliding with the nail so the impulse or change in momentum of hammer head will be same as impulse of the nail that's why we don't have to calculate this it's of only one mark so we just have to write the answer, the previous answer again, that will give us one mark. Is it clear? Then the last part, we need the average force. So now we have different formulas to get the force. We have the formula F is equals to MA. You can use that to get the force. Or we yesterday we discussed a formula that impulse is equals to force multiplied by time. We can use any of them. We'll get the same answer. That does not make difference to the final answer. So impulse equal force into time. We have the impulse which was 1.2 here. And we have the time as well, 0 0.0015. So what I can do, I can find the force. That is impulse divided by time will give me the force. So impulse is 0 0.0015. Sorry, impulse is 1.2 divided by time is 0 0.0015. So what is the force? 1.2 divided by 0 0.0015. That's equal to 800 Newton. So this is one way of getting the force by using a formula of impulse. Impulse is force into time. So we have the impulse in the previous part and we have the time given in the question. We can get the force. This is one way. There's also another way I can use this equation F is equals to MA to get the force. How I will use this equation F is equals to MA. So we have this formula force 
is equal to mass multiplied by acceleration. The mass of the hammer is given. So we have the mass which is 0 0.15. We need acceleration. Then mass multiplied by acceleration will get the force. How to get the acceleration? Acceleration is change in the velocity divided by time. Now what is the initial velocity? Because the hammer was moving with a speed of 8 meter per second, that's initial velocity. And then it stopped when it hits. So the final velocity is 0. And how much time it took to stop? It took 0 0.0015 seconds. So that's a time. So we'll find the acceleration. The final is 0. Initial is 8. And the time interval is 0 0.0015. So it will be 8, 0 minus 8 is minus 8 divided by 0 0.0015. So 8 divided by 0 0.0015, that's equal to 5,333 meter per second square. That is the acceleration or we can say deceleration because it will stop. So we can say it is our speed is decreasing. So we say deceleration, that's why we are getting a negative answer. But in the question, we need the force. So F is equals to MA. So force is mass multiplied by acceleration. Mass is 0 0.15. And the acceleration was 5,333. So what we get, we'll again get 800 Newtons. So we'll get the same result, even though you use the formula F is equals to MA or you use the formula impulse is force multiplied by time. So it's up to you which formula you re remember. According to that, you will solve this question. But because impulse is force into time, you don't have to do many calculation. Like in one step, you can get the answer. So always try to use that formula, which is having all the values given. So you don't have to find any unknown. Is it clear? The crumple zones at the front of a car is designed to collapse during a collision. So when the car hit something collide the front part of the car crumple that's all known as a crumple zones in a lab test the car of mass 1200 kilogram is driven into a concrete ball as shown in the figure a video recording of the test shows that the car is brought to rest in 0 0.36 second so this car took 0 0.36 seconds to stop completely. When it collide with the wall, the speed of the car before the collision is 7.5. Because the car is brought to rest. So before the car hits, it was moving with 7.5 meter per second. But when it hits the concrete wall, it stops. So what will be the speed? It will be 0 meter per second. So initial speed is 7.5. And the final speed is 0. And this is the time which is 0 0.36 second. In the question they're asking calculate the change in the momentum. So how to calculate a change in the momentum? Again, the formula for change in momentum, which is also known as impulse. That is the final momentum minus initial momentum. So change in momentum is final momentum minus initial. This is a speed and the mass of the car is given that is 1200 kg, the mass of the car. So what is the initial momentum?
momentum is a product of mass and velocity so initially the mass of the car is 1200 and the speed at which it is moving is 7.5 what is the initial momentum when 1200 multiplied by 7.5 That's equal to 9,000. So the initial momentum is 9,000 kilogram meter per second. Not Newton second because the unit of momentum is kilogram meter per second. If they ask for change in momentum, then you will say Newton second. What about the final? Because the car stops. So it is having a mass of 1,200 kilogram, but it stops completely. So mass is 1,200 multiplied by zero. So it will be zero kilogram meter per second because it is a momentum. So units are always important. As the final speed is zero, final momentum will also be zero because mass multiplied by velocity as a velocity is zero, momentum will be zero. Then we have to calculate the change in momentum or impulse. So that's the final momentum, which is zero minus initial momentum is 9,000. So zero minus 9,000, what is the final answer? Minus 9,000. You can write kilogram meter per second or you can write Newton second because change in momentum or impulse can have two units, either Newton second or kilogram meter per second second both units are acceptable is it clear the first part then the second part again they are asking for the force and again we have two options like in the previous question so if we want a force we can have formula f is equals to ma but here we have f we don't have a we don't we have to find f uh, we have m we don't have a as well so then we have to find a by using a formula v minus u over t or we can also use the formula impulse or change in momentum with force into time that can be used here directly because we have the impulse or change in momentum that is 9000 and we have the time also 0 0.36 so we can use this second formula easily so the change in momentum is 9000 you can write minus 9000 but that is only showing a significance of a direction does not have any effect on the value so f and the time is 0 0.36 0 0.36 is multiplied other side it will divide so it will be 9000 divided by 0 0.36 what is the answer for the force 9000 divided by 0 0.36 so that will be 25000 and because it is a force average force or total force the unit of force is newton not newton meter it is a force the units are always important so using a quantity you have to write the unit if it is a force then it is newton if it is a moment then newton meter if it is momentum then kilogram meter per second is it clear the second part how we use it to calculate the force Another question, figure 2.1 shows athlete crossing the finish line in a race. As she uh, crosses the finish line, her speed is 10 and she slowed down to 4 meter per second. So initially, uh, she is moving at a speed of 10 meter per second. But after crossing the finish line, she slowed down. 
to a speed of 4 meter per second. The mass of the athlete is 71 kg. So her mass is 71 kg. We need the impulse. So what is the formula for impulse? If we know the speed, that is a change in the momentum. which is also known as final momentum minus initial momentum. So what about her final momentum? She's having a mass of 71 and moving with a speed of 10. So uh, what about her initial momentum? The mass is 71 and she's moving with a speed of 10. So 71 into 10, it will be 7,010 kilogram meter per second. That's a starting momentum. Well, as she crosses the finish line, her final momentum, her mass is 71 multiplied by speed is 4. So 71 times 4 that's equal to 284 kilogram meter per second but we need the impulse the change in momentum which is final minus initial so final is 2800 and uh, sorry 284 minus initial is 710 so we are getting the impulse as negative 426 newton second or you can write kilogram meter per second why we are getting a negative because she slowed down that's why we are getting a negative answer and you can see in the marking scheme it is written 430 why in marking scheme it is written 430 but we are getting 426 basically they rounded off the value that's why it is written 430 so in exam if you got 426 you will write as 426 then we have to define impulse in terms of force and time. So basically we have to just mention that what is impulse in terms of force and time. So impulse is equals to or impulse is a product of force and time. What does it mean? It means that when you multiply force with time, what you will get you will get the impulse is it clear this part then the athlete the athlete take 1.2 seconds to slow down from 10 meter per second to 4 meter per second calculate the average force again if you want to calculate an average force, we can use two formulas. We can use F is equals to MA or we can use impulse is force. So F is equals to MA can be used or we can use impulse is force multiplied by time. We already have the impulse, which is 426. And we have the time as well, which is 1.2. So it's better to use the second formula. Impulse is 426. Force we don't know and the time is 1.2. 1.2 is multiplied, other side it will divide. So 426 divided by 1.2 will get the force. So 426 divided by 1.2, that's equal to 355. Newton because it is a force so it will be Newton and again you can see we are getting 355 but in the answer key marking scheme it's written 360 but that's a rounded off value give, in, given in the marking scheme the last part calculate the force required to give a mass 71 kilogram and acceleration of 6.4 so how much force is needed to produce an acceleration 
of 6.4. So we have the formula F is equals to MA. Force is mass multiplied by expression. Mass is 71 and expression is 6.4. So 71 multiplied by 6.4, that's equal to 454.4 or 454 Newton. If it is like, why I did not write 455 because it is written 454.4. If this number after the point is more than five, then we rounded off and I like if it was six here, then I rounded off and I write 455. Another question related to momentum and impulse. In this question, the total mass of a train and its passenger is 750,000. That's too big value. The train is traveling at a speed of 84 meter per second. That's a starting speed. The driver applies the brake and train takes 80 seconds to slow down to a speed of 42 meter per second. Calculate the impulse. So we have to calculate the impulse or the change in momentum. That is equals to the final momentum minus initial momentum. So they mention in the question that this train initially it is traveling at what speed? Uh, 84. So that's the starting speed. And it slowed down to a speed of 42 meter per second. So what about the initial momentum? The mass of the train is 750,000. So initial momentum which is the mass multiplied by velocity so 750,000 multiplied by 84. Yeah, that's right, Abdullah. It is six three, and there are five zeros. Kilogram meter per second. That's initial. What about the final momentum? Initial momentum is not denoted by u. Initial speed is denoted by u. So u is eighty four here, and v is forty two. Seven fifty thousand times eighty four. Yeah, six zeros are there. That's right. Then what about the final momentum? Mass is uh, the same. Seven fifty thousand multiplied by forty two. So the final momentum is 31500 0, 0 kilogram meter per second. Then we have to calculate if it is momentum, the unit of momentum is kilogram meter per second. If it is a speed, the unit is meter per second. So here U is 84 because it's a speed and V is 42, which is meter per second, but momentum is kilogram meter per second. So final momentum minus initial, the final momentum is 315. So to calculate the impulse, that's 
that is final momentum minus initial momentum what's the answer for this difference the impulse So that is negative 3150 that's the impulse and the unit of impulse yeah the five zeros and newton second or you can write kilogram meter per second then we need average force so we have the impulse and train took 80 seconds to stop uh, to slow down basically not to stop so to get the force we can use f is equals to ma or we can use forces it is newton second because it is impulse it is newton second newton meter is a unit for moment the turning effect so impulse is force multiplied by time impulse or change in momentum that is 310 315 and then five zeros are there and the time interval is equal to 80. 80 is multiplied, other side it will divide. So we'll get the force experienced by this train. That is 393,750 Newton. So that is 393,750. And because it is a force, so the unit should be Newton. Is it clear this example? So you can see a similar pattern is there in these type of questions that when we calculate the impulse, first we got the impulse and from impulse we got the force. So same pattern is there for these type of questions. I'll share another link and start a new topic which is about the conservation of momentum.